What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back and today I've got another head-to-head -head gameplay for you guys. We are currently 8-0 on the season looking to go 9-0. We do get the first round by so I'm looking to come out here and get the W. But one thing I want to say guys is while you're watching this video I will be live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Make It Wayne. Link in the description down below. I'm going to be doing some coin games, a lot of giveaways, and some head-to-head -head gameplays. I'd appreciate it if you guys would stop by and check out the stream. It would really mean a lot, but we are jumping into this gameplay as you can see he's stuffing up the run game so far in this game So we're going to the pass game. We hit Michael Floyd. He's gonna get hit He fumbles, but he's able to pick it up while he's on the ground luckily So we are still on offense hitting DeAndre Hopkins for another first down So we're dropping back on second down and nine throwing it up deep and Michael Floyd has had a big impact in this game so far as he's able to get a touchdown but you see here on defense Eric Reed is able to come up and get the interception and we're right back on offense with Alex Smith he's dropping back throwing it up deep again and we almost do get picked off but luckily he did try so I decided why not throw it up again and this time AJ Green is able to come down with it so we find ourselves up 14 to 0 early in the second quarter back on defense we might be able to get a rage quit if we can get a stop as he's trying to fit it in there but Xavier Rhodes is able to come over and get the interception so we are on back on offense once again trying to feed Jamal Charles but he was shutting down the run game very well but the one thing he couldn't stop was the streaks as we're going to hit AJ Green once again for a touchdown. And this guy's going to go on ahead and find his way to the quit button. We are going to be walking away with the victory. So we are moving on to our playoff game. And you're going to notice right off the bat we are playing in this guy's Super Bowl. So you already know we are playing a good opponent because he has been able to make his way all the way to the Super Bowl. On my first possession, we're going to the air on second down and 13. We almost throw a pick to start off this game. So we have to go back to the air once again on third and 13. It looked like he had his man beat by a lot, but somehow his cornerback is able to come and knock that pass down. But you're going to get to see his lineup, and this is the best lineup I have faced thus far this year. He had 99 Bo Jackson, 94 Cam Newton. He has 93 Gronk, 92 Carlos Dunlap, 95 Nadama Kinsu, 92 Clay Matthews, 95 Keekly, Kiko Alonso, 95, and flashback champ Bailey his team was definitely stacked from the inside out so we're gonna have to maneuver our way around that overall we're gonna have to come out of here and try to get this victory even though his team is much better as he's feeding the beast Bo Jackson with the screen pass we are able to set him up with a fourth down and three and we are gonna stop him on his first possession so we get the ball on the 47 yard line we're handing it off to Jamal trying to get this run game going but he definitely did a really good job of shutting that down as we had B wide open, but I decided to go back across the middle to A, and he's going to pick us off. My opponent back on offense, and you guys are going to see he's just going to continually keep feeding Bo Jackson, and this is definitely the hardest running back I've had to play all year. As he was elusive, he broke tackles, he put out stiff arms, he was a hard running back to bring down as he gets him to the two-yard line. We are able to get the sack, which sets him up with a second and goal, a really long second and goal. He's going to hand it off once again. He's going to bring it down to the seven-yard line. So we do have him the third and goal. He's rolling out with Cam Newton, trying to get into the end zone, but we are going to stop him a yard short. But you already know from a yard short, Cam Newton is going to be able to take this one in for the touchdown. So we find ourselves down 7-0 early in this game, but we're going to a streak to AJ Green. He's able to beat everyone, and this man is gone. So now all we need to do is try and find a way to stop Bo Jackson as he hits us with the spin move of death. Hits us with the back juke, making my man miss, and he's going into the end zone on the first play of his next possession. So we are now down 14 to 7, still trying to get this run game going. He was shutting it down at the beginning of the game. I was not able to get it going at all as we're able to slide down with Alex Smith and pick up the first down. I'm just looking to get some points on the board because he does get the ball coming out of half as we hit Jason Morrow on second down and three for a first down. Going back to the run game, Denard Robinson shrugs off his defensive tackle, gets us about a nine yard gain, 
But after a sack that set us up with a third down and seven, and we get sacked once again. So I have to end up punting him the ball, and he just took his knees. So we head into halftime, down 14-7, to seven, and he's right back to Bo Jackson, who broke a tackle. Hit us with the spin move. He's down the sidelines and gets him down to the 20-yard line. Man, this Bo Jackson is running all over the place. I have no answer for him at all as he gets another first down. He already has over 200 yards rushing. We need to find a way to shut him down, or we have no chance of winning this game as Cam Newton is able to scramble out of the pocket for the touchdown. So we find ourselves down 21 to 7. I want to try and get a quick touchdown as we're dropping back and we're going to get sacked on second down and three, which set us up with a third down and 12. And I don't know what I was thinking there as we throw it into coverage and he's able to bat that one down. But he has a third down and two. We're able to stop him. That sets him up with a fourth down and one. He tries to hand it off again. And we are able to stuff him up. So we do get the ball back on our side of the field. Looking good as finally we are able to get the run game going. And Jamal Charles is into the end zone for the touchdown. My opponent back on offense once again. Handing it off to the beast himself. Bo Jackson down the sidelines. One man to beat. And we finally do end up bringing him down at the 28-yard line, but not until after a huge gain as he's going to finally sub in another running back, Jonas Hill. He's going to walk his way into the end zone for a touchdown. So I need a quick and easy touchdown. We're sending some streaks down the field, and this has been the only thing keeping me in the game as we do hit Reggie Wayne over the top. For the touchdown, we make it a one-possession game as he goes right back to Bo Jackson, and he is going to end up breaking the single-game record for rushing yards in one game. I think he had 309, and we get lucky there as Jonas Hill does run into the back of his lineman, so that gives us a chance to get a stop, maybe a fumble, an interception, something he can't get, even get a field goal as there's only a minute to go. He sets himself up with a third down and two. A first down would end this game, and you guys are going to see He's going to stop himself short of a touchdown on purpose. He's going to take his last knee, and we are ending up walking away with another loss in the playoffs. It is very disappointing to make it this far, play a perfect regular season, and end up losing our first game. But hey, it's going to happen. But I have made a ton of upgrades to my lineup. You guys will see a lineup update coming soon in the next video. But like I said, I will be live streaming as you guys are watching this video. So make sure to click the link in the description down below. And that will direct you over to my Twitch channel. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. Go follow me on Twitter at MakeItWayne. And until next time, guys. Have a good one.